Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys channel. Okay, uh, in front of me, I have Mini GTs, uh, collaboration with Autobex Super GT, uh, the Japan Grand Touring series. And uh, so far, yeah, these are the cars, and there's two of um, the uh, two cars that's really released that's not here, and uh, <laughs> it's actually the M4 and also the Arta NSX, the orange, orange red. Um, NSX, I don't have that here, and um, but the main focus for for this video today would be this guy, new arrival, uh, Mini GT number five nine five. Okay, so these ones I've basically roughly run through with you guys um, during its arrival with the rest of the Mini GT batches, right? However, this one came by itself, so I thought <clears throat> this would be a good chance to talk a little bit more on the Super GT releases. <coughs> okay, and. At the same time, let's get it out. Okay, let's get it out. All right. Uh, also, while I'm getting it out, right, help me to hit the like button. Okay, because that will help me out with the uh, YouTube algorithms. And <clears throat> and um, I do have a couple of extras of these. Uh, they will be made available through Collectors Cube. Uh, do look them up. They are on so all social media platform. They have their own website as well, coq.com. Okay, I'll put the link in the description below. And if you're interested to do a pre-order with me, Virtu Toys, um, yeah, I do have my um, pre-order group. Okay, on Facebook, I do all my pre-orders, link of my pre-orders through Facebook. Okay, <clears throat> which I will also put in the uh, the link in the description below. Right. Oh, wow. This time it's quite tight. I don't, know, I don't think it's the scissors being blunt. I think it's really very tight. So this one. <clears throat> This is really when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing looks so good. Okay, um, yeah, check out the artwork. <laughs> Sorry about that, I couldn't, I couldn't move further behind. Okay, check out the artwork. Okay, that's a real car at the back, and then oh, look at that. During pre-order, right? I think the photos it does look like it's a flat rate. I made an assumption it's gonna look like the Liberty Walk, um, flat rate and flat black. Okay, but now that's in my hands, it's not flat at all. Okay, Nissan GTR Nishmo GT500 number 23, Motil Altec GTR Nishmo 2021 Super GT series. Okay, so um, this is so back a little bit of a backstory. Okay, uh, about Super GT, there's two um, basically, there's two series running concurrently GT500 and GT300. Okay, um, <clears throat> the name actually derived. <laughs> it's still stuck. The names actually derived from when it started in I think in the late nineteen nineties. Um, GT five hundred means maximum horsepower, uh, five hundred, and uh, GT three hundred maximum horsepower, three hundred. Okay, so right now GT five hundred is running at about six hundred and fifty horsepower, and. Um, the GT three hundred cars, they are running at about uh, how many again? Four four hundred to five hundred and fifty horsepower, but it has much less. Um, it has much less downforce compared to the GT five hundred cars. Yeah, let's just tell you the GT five hundred cars has a lot of downforce. You can tell by the shape of the car. <coughs> okay. I'm not gonna take the box out. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it in there. Okay, basically number five and five, pretty standard. Okay, there's an Autobox Super GT logo on top. Okay, pretty standard. Um, Mister Box. However, oh, look at this. So this is not a new casting. We've seen the white, the red, the red, uh, the black version a couple of weeks back. Okay, I've shown you guys already, and now, oh, this Motil version is out. Oh my God, look at it. Yeah, let's let's focus on this guy first. Oh my god, look at that. This thing is crazy man, this thing is seriously crazy. Oh it looks so good man. The shed of red, okay, it's not a flat red. Somehow somehow it gives the illusion of I'm not sure is it because of the of the design at the back. It does give an illusion from um black from dark red to yeah. There's just some sort of gradient in here. It's it's definitely not a flat red. 
yeah from bright from the bright at the front and then goes darker and darker to the back somehow it does give that illusion probably yeah the side here right this red is it does look darker than the red on the hood in front uh, it's pretty crazy man so in this color now we can start to see a little bit more of the detail on the side the aerodynamic details on the skirt and then we go to the front look at that <coughs> crazy this thing is crazy in comparison okay with the uh, gt 300 cars you can see you can see that the GT500 have so much more um, downforce. There's so much more aerodynamic bits to it. And right now, since I have it here, right, the, one of the biggest um, way the the difference, okay, they used to differentiate between the GT300 and GT500 cars will be through the headlamps, <coughs> yellow tinted headlamps for GT300, white color windscreen um, stickers, okay, and also for the numbers for GT500, it's white in color. For GT300, it's yellow in color. Okay, so that's uh, um, three ways how to differentiate between the GT300 and the GT500 cars. Okay, look at that. Oh, this thing is crazy, man. Okay, the rims are nice, but uh, I kind of feel the GT300 wheels, rims just look better, slightly better. So this one comes with the tire bomb. Um, hang on, let me see. So this guy. The GT500, uh, sorry, the GT300, the Tanex, the Tanex version does come with a Dunlop tire bomb as well. The Lamborghini, no, but uh, yeah, this, the NSX has the Yokohama tire bomb. Um, unfortunately, sorry, I can't show you the Arta NSX and also the M4, the white color M4. Reason being, I don't know where they have placed them. <laughs> I know I have it somewhere, I just couldn't find it just now, okay? And I'm running on a, a little bit of a tight schedule, very sorry about that, so I had to proceed with this video, because the, this video will be mainly talking about this guy here, in my hands right now, look at that. Oh, look at the back. The Nissan logo, Michelin logo, the four brake lights, all done very nicely, the diffuser at the back, very nice wing at the back as well, okay, with a Nissan logo on top. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. It does look like it's a little bit smaller than the GT300 release. <coughs> I don't think... I have a feeling that the, the GT500 is wider than the GT300. I Yeah, it definitely looks smaller, right? Let's see. Let's see if my theory is correct. Okay, so the wheelbase... The wheelbase is actually very, very close, if not identical, okay? It's really very close, the wheel, yeah, the wheelbase, okay? So what I can tell is that the way Mini GT need to shrink the cars, right, to this size, that's why Mini GT is not a true 64 scale, okay? Mini GT is not true 64 scale, so what I guess they, they need to do is they need to shrink the cars to fit into their box and the blister okay so they can't do because these guys are already as wide as they can be and be able to fit into the blister so these guys will need to be smaller in scale to be able to fit into the blister okay that is usually um, the one of the, the design um, one of their rule of thumb when they want to shrink the the cars to a smaller scale packaging <laughs> because of packaging oh but it looks so good man it doesn't matter because it just looks so good oh this this look at that very nice very nicely done okay so uh, as far as I know, these um, GTRs, right, they are already retired in, uh, I think, 2020, uh, 2022. I can't recall right now, it's 2023, did they run this? Um, this specific one is 2021. This is also, the black one is also actually a presentation version from um, 2021. Because I know that um, 2023, they are using the Fair Lady. Okay, they're using the Fair Lady. 
Um, basically, in GD500, there are three main manufacturers right now, the Honda, um, Nissan, and Toyota. Toyota is using their Supra platform. Um, Nissan is using the Flat Lady platform, and uh, Honda will be um, departing from their NSX platform. They're going to go and use their Honda Civic um, platform for next year, 2024. In GT300, we see much more variant of the different cars uh, because there is a combination of independent groups and independent manufacturer, uh, independent teams and there's also uh, works teams as well. So we do see quite a, a wide range of um, cars. That's why we see Lamborghini as well. Okay, there's BMW and then there is Audi in there as well. So yeah, um, this, is, uh, this, is one, this is one of the series um, that I'm really looking forward to Mini GT releases so right now as far as I know they have the IMSA Mini GT has the IMSA collaboration um, the, the US series and then now this Super GT collaboration I do hope to see more D1 um, collaboration with Mini GT the cars from D1 to appear in uh, Mini GT boxes packaging and uh, let me know let me know you know what what other racing series that you hope Mini GT will look into this is really very cool okay all right so i do have a couple of extras of these they're available through collectors cube do look them up all right tiktok facebook and instagram they have their own website um there are a couple of these uh extras that will be made available through them do look them up um help me to hit the like button help me to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that i don't miss on any of my other like us videos thank you so much for watching guys bye